Right. Uh, North Shore was seen as a model for Washington schools when it was the first district in the state to go to full remote learning when coronavirus first hit. Now, a year later, some parents are wondering if their kids will get back into the classrooms at all this year. Another day of double duty for Krista Wogan, playing both mom and teacher to her kids. After a year of homeschool, she says the social and emotional impacts are taking a toll, and the current system is doing more harm than good. My oldest has had panic attacks. I've heard multiple kids on Zoom crying, saying they hate this, saying they don't want to come to school anymore. While most school districts have either brought kids back to class part time or are moving that way, the North Shore School District still hasn't announced a date for a return to in person learning. North Shore closed its schools early last March. Krista wonders if they'll open this year at all. Seems like a decision has already been made and was made a long time ago. A decision to what? To keep kids out of school and do a full year, no chance of hybrid. Krista points to this memorandum of understanding between the district and its teachers, outlining when they will return to their classrooms. She says it's very vague. And there's nothing that quantifies what healthy needs. There's no numbers in there. There is nothing that says when we hit these rates, when we hit these numbers, we will return to school. Krista specifically calls out Superintendent Michelle Reed, who just last week was named State Superintendent of the Year. Krista says the superintendent is not living up to her accolades. Why is it that every other school district was able to release a date within a week of the governor's orders and our school district can? And I don't feel that our superintendent is looking out for kids. Do it. So for now, it's back to homeschool as Krista Wogan worries about the damage being done with each school day that passes. These are the type of problems, social and emotional, that you won't see until your kid re-enters a school environment. Since our first report at four, we've heard from a district spokesperson who tells us that they are still working out issues with uh, coronavirus testing and contact tracing, as well as trying to get access to vaccines for their teachers. Live in Bothell tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.